Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. So this is just a quickie to show you this mess. Look at this mess. A train derailment. That's a big train derailment. What's all that white stuff? What do you think that white stuff is? Well, let's see. Yeah, just what you would not want to see spilled. It's potash. So basically, this is fertilizer. Yeah, fertilizer for growing mm -hmm. crops. Mm -hmm. What another coincidence. 43 rail train cars carrying fertilizer, which is in extreme short demand. Derail. Wrecked. Oh, just another amazing coincidence in this world. They just keep piling on top of each other, one after the next. All these coincidences sewn together to create a certain picture. Hmm. And, yeah, it's not a pretty picture. As we see, Bidenflation. That's a new word. Bidenflation. Hmm. Wow. Campbell's tomato soup prices keep escalating. If there are anybody out there that still buys Campbell's tomato right. soup... Mm -hmm. Okay, as you can see, they're going up in price. Everything's going up in price, pretty much. Um, just what I do is we basically make all our soups from scratch. We just use our organic veggie broth um, and kind of go from there. Yeah, I mean, if you know what goes into things, you can eat a lot healthier. Absolutely, because I bet you anything, if you look at the list of what's in Campbell's tomato soup, it's going to have some things that are going to sound more like chemicals than food. And here we see gene-edited crops are sped up now to guarantee the food supply. Russian blockades are preventing the export of key goods such as wheat, lending to rising food prices, global shortages... So the production of gene-edited crops is being sped up to make sure that people are not going to go hungry. Hmm. Amid concern over the UK's food self-sufficiency, the government will this week introduce a bill which will allow farmers farms to grow more crops by planting variants that have been edited to be more resistant to disease or need less water or fertilizer. Although plans for the bill have been in place since Brexit, the government, a government source said it had taken on added importance now with the shortages that are developing. Asked about the impact of the conflict on the plans, the source said it's always been quite prominent as a big Brexit benefit. But yes, it could be good news for food security in terms of developing crops that are more resistant to disease. But what is it going to do to your body? If you ever clean yourself off from all the GMO foods and then you go eat some GMO wheat, I bet you you'll have an allergic reaction. You're going to puff up like a puffer fish if you have that problem really bad. Absolutely. You know, it, inflammatory and inflammation is really in so many cases the root cause of disease. You can see where this is going. And again, do do we really, really trust the science? What else is in there? What genes have been edited? And by eating that, what genes of yours will be edited? I know. Everything kind of rolls downhill. So scientists have used gene editing to create mutant cockroaches. Yeah, it's a big breakthrough. They're using CRISPR technology. What are they going to try to do? Make them six foot tall and turn them into uh, super soldiers? I know. I'm kind of, well, I'm glad somebody has a purpose, I guess. Well, they can change part of the organism's DNA, of course. The breakthrough not only produced the first so-called knockout cockroaches in history, a term that refers to cockroaches with artificially inactivated genes. It could also dramatically simplify gene editing in numerous other insects, opening up applications for pest control, evolutionary biology, and other entomological fields. You know, I'm reading this. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, they inactivated genes. When we look to hu the human genome and we see so much 
inactivated DNA, that junk DNA, they're doing it again. They're doing it again. When we look to those Anunnaki legends creating the perfect slave race. And why does humanity have so much inactive DNA? Genetic editing, guys. That's what it is. Well, I guess somebody just wanted to do some testing. You know, you think about all these things like a virgin birth and miracles like that. Now we could conceive of a virgin birth. It doesn't take sex. Mm -hmm. All it takes is an egg and a sperm to be fertilized and put back in. And you got yourself a virgin birth if she was a virgin in the first place. And people believe this is just a complete miracle because, well, it's a virgin birth. But as you can see, along comes science and they start putting out in front of us that these things aren't so magical and miracle after all. Hey, hey, Betty. What, Barney? There's a light in the sky over there. Look at it. It's a star over there in the east. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty star, but it looks like it's getting bigger. It is getting bigger. And all of a sudden, the flash of white light comes. Next thing you know, they're both up in the ship. Now, they were engaged. They're going to get married. They haven't fooled around. Then they're put back down into the car and they wake up and say, Wow, that's strange. It's 9.45 p.m. Where did the day go? That was just 5 o'clock and you know, it was getting dark because it's winter and we see the star. Next thing you know, it's late at night. I, I kind of feel funny. A few months later, you know what? I'm pregnant. Was it the milkman? No, it wasn't the milkman. Must have been those aliens that took us up into that UFO. Or, gosh, do we still believe in miracles? There are miracles, absolutely. But again, we could see how this technology can explain so much. Mm -hmm. So much. And of course, humanity has it, but it's been around before Homo sapiens had it. I think there's just so many things that we kind of got confused when we're reading in our history books, you know, as far as technology can do a lot of things. But let's not forget our human bodies are pretty darn amazing themselves. And, and by the way, I was having fun there talking about Betty and Barney, and there was a couple Benny and, Betty and Barney Hill. Do you remember that I famous think. UFO incident? Mm -hmm. I remember them. Yeah, you know, seriously. And, and he didn't live too long either. Um, he he died relatively young, and you got to wonder, was it something to do with their encounter? And so many people have had encounters that are, again, seems like people are being monitored. They take samples. They're testing for levels of toxins and things like that. And who knows exactly what type of gene editing is going on? And then when we recognize, and we know, because there's been so many leaks out from so many different sources and I think of Phil Schneider who who told us all about that encounter in Dulce and the Battle of Dulce that happened underground in one of those deep underground military bases. The government interacts with beings that are not Homo sapiens all the time. They're in the military, many in the military recognize this if they've been stationed in certain places like Area fifty one and Dulce and others. It's just part of the bigger plan. And the bigger plan has been to control humankind. And we see here, you know, this is just coming right out there. So how do you know that something that's gene edited and you eat it, how do you know it's not going to affect you in a negative way? Mm -hmm. I mean, for one... All you guys out there, do you like watermelon? Anybody that likes watermelon, have you eaten a seedless watermelon and then go eat an heirloom? Because all the seedless ones, they've been gene edited. Mother Nature doesn't take the seeds away. Now, to me, they taste like nothing. And then you eat an heirloom and it tastes amazingly sweet. You know, they have, they do, they have the flavor to them that just sort of pops in your mouth and you do eat the seedless ones and it is like kind of, you know, eating squishy sponge-like stuff. Absolutely. And so this little tweet's talking about how it's an abomination. And, you know, you could actually be 
patented and, and they could actually claim ownership on something that's gene edited. And, you know, they might actually, the elite might come straight out at some point in time and say, oh, by the way, all you guys that we, uh, you know, gave that thingy to, well, we, we kind of modified you and uh, you know, you're actually our property because we're allowed to by law. Anything that, you know, we've altered, yeah. So isn't this interesting? This is from May 1992, 30 years ago from a Rothschild Economist magazine. Changing your genes. What is that? Oh, look at the DNA. Oh, wow. Do you think that could possibly be a foreshadowing? Yeah, it's one of those predictive program things, looks like. April 25th through May 1st, 1992. There you go. I mean, it's right there. It's right in our faces. It's always right there in our faces. And meanwhile, NASA says something strange is happening with our universe. Observations show galaxies are moving away from our Milky Way galaxy. It's The universe is expanding quicker than they thought. Scientists have been studying new data from Hubble. So they say the expansion rate has become much quicker compared to the expectations. You're getting the most precise measure of the expansion rate for the universe from the gold standard of telescopes and cosmic mile markers. Observations also show that other galaxies are moving away from the Milky Way faster. Do you think it's because of Gil Bates? Or maybe it's because of the sickle maker that, that they're like, ah, let's get out of there. We don't want to be in this neighborhood. I know, we need a way further. So scientists cannot figure out why, but they're saying there's something bizarre going on. Cause of this discrepancy remains a mystery, but Hubble data encompassing a variety of cosmic objects that serve as distance markers support the idea that something weird is going on, possibly involving brand new physics, officials said in a news release. Isn't that interesting? And so you were talking, too, about changes uh, with 4D and everything, remember? The changes with 4D, there have been some changes go on lately, and it's been quite concerning. I think it was probably about three weeks ago now, and I've talked to several people who've had these experiences. They were showing me how, I guess the best way that they could show me, they were showing me that there was like almost like something taken out, and 4D was releasing a lot of energy and a lot of that energy or entities that were in the 4D were then being um, put into the 3D. So a lot of these entities now have access to 3D and there's there's some good ones and there are some bad ones but it really seemed right about that time that I got that vision so many people um, texted saying, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, this is, I'm having a really bad day. I'm getting attacked. There's these, all these energies going on. And it really has been kind of a, a rough time for, for those who are sensitive and can perceive energies these last few weeks. So yes, there are changes going on. There's, um, I believe, uh, expansion and collapsing of different dimensions that we are just simply not privy to. Things that we're definitely not taught. And I wish I had a more scientific mind, but you guys are stuck with me and you're stuck with my my visions and, and the you know doing my best to translate them for you. Yeah. Um, Peter Dunov is one of our guides uh really he, he's overshadowed me um during meditation cindy saw him uh stepping into me and he talked about this super wave that's coming now we've been in um we've been in a dark zone he he described it as a zone where there were tremendous wars and atrocities that took place and there's beings in this zone. Now, this is our zone we've been in for the Kali Yuga. Um, there's n nasty dark beings that have affected humanity. And so we're about to pop out of this zone. And he talked about this super wave that's going to come. A galactic super wave way before, 39 years before super wave theory was even proposed. He saw it. He knew it was coming. And so he was a mystic. Uh, he was also a practitioner of Qigong without calling it Qigong because he just kind of formulated his own system. 
uh, also a musician, a very, very cool individual, um, visionary, absolutely. So he saw this was, was coming. He believed in an esoteric form of Christianity. He didn't believe in the blood sacrifice and all that. He thought it was more of a transformation that we had to go through to become Christ, christened, I guess we could say, just like Yeshua. And when, when this super wave comes, the way he describes it, he says, everybody will soon be subjugated to a divine fire that will purify and prepare them in regards to the new era. Some decades now, you know, he's talking many decades ago. So he said some decades will pass before the fire will come that will transform the world and bring it a new moral. This immense wave comes from cosmic space and will inundate the entire earth. All those that attempt to oppose it will be carried off and transferred elsewhere. Although the inhabitants of this planet do not all find themselves at the same degree of evolution, the new wave will be felt by each one of us. And this transformation will not only touch the earth, but the ensemble of the entire cosmos. So we've talked about this before. He, he wrote that in, in 1944. December 27th, 1944, just days before he passed on from this particular life. And, um, you know, we've seen this as well. Everything's going to be changed. This is low, I will tell you a secret. We shall not all die, but we will all be changed. So this is, you know, right there from the New Testament as well. And this is the change. And it is going to be, you know, we, as Cindy w was talking last night, we were talking about this. She said, People won't even know that in a third dimensionary sense, they're not alive anymore because you're just going to find yourself in a new reality. Mm -hmm. You are. You're, you're, things are going to change. It's very, very important to create the best that you can on this 3D realm because whatever you create here is that's going to be your foundation for the place that we're going. Um, and things are going to change. We are going to have new perceptions, understandings. Everything's going to be different. Um, it's not a bad thing. It's not a scary thing. It's just going to change. So we're going to have much wider perceptions. We're going to have the ability to see much more of that light spectrum. Right now, we just see such a small sliver, and that's going to be expanded for us. So he says there will be floods, hurricanes, gigantic fires, earthquakes that will sweep away everything. Blood will flow in abundance. There will be revolutions, terrible explosions will resound in numerous regions of the earth. There, 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 where there was earth, water will come. And where there was water, earth will come. Further on, he refers to waves of cosmic electricity, which will sweep the earth. Indeed, the main component of a super wave would be its cosmic ray electrons. We could talk to David at DAP 2030 about all this. Mm -hmm. You know, the electrical discharges, there's certain zones that are going to be safer than others when it comes to that as well. And so the earth will soon be swept by the extraordinary wa rapid waves of cosmic electricity a few days from now, decades from now, a few decades from now. Beings who are bad and lead others astray... <coughs> You know, all the politicians, the elected officials, all these alphabet soups, they're not going to be able to support their intensity. And so they, they will be removed from our reality. Mm -hmm. And that's why they know they only have so much time. And again, we get that this wave, and this could change because Source is sending, it's up to Source. <laughs> Source is sending... Um, a lot of energy on through when you look at the sun cycle it's it's way ahead of what it should be uh, and again it, it's source trying to combat the dark side and what the dark side is doing to corrupt everything uh, so but we do get that that's more like the middle of the 2040s mm -hmm. 2045 2046 uh, feels like the years that are most likely so that would still be you know 20 plus years away um, before that change comes. And when that change comes, then, boom, then we truly are in a new age. Mm -hmm. you know, there, there will not be any more of that structure in our lives anymore. Our structure is going to be very organic. So taking care of our bodies, very, very important. Taking care of our land, very, very important. Everything organic that you, that you are building on, improving, creating, that's going to be, that's going to remain. And so those that choose, 
the AI system's way, those that choose to stay with the leaders, those that choose the <clears throat> moderations, the gene editing, uh, all the black AI goo, so to speak, you know, then they will be with them. They'll be in a different reality. So Earth is going to be rising up and ascending. And, you know, what will happen is they'll, they might leave with these Anunnaki in ships and be put on other planets to again to work if you look to to the the bible and you look into the last chapter of revelations everybody gets a mark it's either the mark of the beast or the mark of the lamb and of the god that comes with the lamb everybody gets a mark though so you know when you look to marks it's a branding who gets branded well Cattle, herd, flocks get branded. It's it's all the conditioning that we have been put through to say, oh, I want to be part of that flock because Yeshua is nice, or they will say Jesus is nice. But again, that that wasn't the purpose. Source is within all of us, so it's up to us to create our own. Mm -hmm. We are co-creators with source you know we're not there to serve him and, and the ultimate well we serve source by being true to our higher selves and following our own individual unique path not working hand foot to mouth on any planet as you know the Anunnaki version is one of slavery and so when you look to Revelation 22 you know again it, it still talks in a penetratory way and it says if people disobey then you know then god will stop the rain stop the food production it's the same old cycle we have here now mm -hmm. so you know if you want to serve the anunnaki then you know the path is through their technology through their editing their dna alteration the ai you know black goo and accepting the singularity, putting their technology in your organic body. And again, its intention is to keep you in lower fourth density at the highest so that you're still there with them mm -hmm. by their side, carrying out their will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's, it's definitely not a pretty picture. And that's why we got to try to focus on just keeping ourselves ha healthy, keeping yourself happy, keeping yourself organic, working on your soul spirit uh becoming a better person every day to the best of your ability and uh just moving moving forward yeah so it's just all about eliminating their technology from our life as much as possible doing it by peeling it away one layer at a time and um and just recognizing it for what it is so root yourself ground yourself to the earth to develop a good solid if you haven't done it already mind body practice yoga qigong meditation tai chi anything like this is a great way to start and then just eat as organic and natural as you could whole unprocessed foods so that means you know avoiding all those things like twinkies mm -hmm. snowballs oh god i know all those nasty things <laughs> avoiding i mean the frozen foods and stuff, it, it amazes me still that people will just grab a frozen food dinner, throw it in a microwave and cook it. You That's, are yeah. toasting your genes. You're mm -hmm. toasting your DNA. You're, you're not giving yourself any life force, no nourishment, no enzymes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not good for the cells when you do that. And there's a whole bunch of information out there about microwaves and, you know, what they do to your food. You eat the food and what it does to your cells. So if you have one of those things, get get a toaster oven. So, guys, please do subscribe and stay on this ride with us. And we'll ride this wave all the way to the super wave. <laughs> <laughs> and as always, thank you for your support on Patreon and Ko-Fi. We couldn't do it without you. Now, over at Medicinal Foods, there's stuff that's definitely safe for mind, body, and spirit. Uh, use coupon code EEA and get a discount. Does support the channel. As always, much love. God bless and namaste. Namaste.